The Citizen Kelly Show with William J. Kelly. And now, the king of controversy himself, Citizen Kelly. Welcome, 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 my fellow citizens, to The Citizen Kelly Show. I am Citizen Kelly, and I'm happy, thankful, full of love and enthusiasm. g thank you for being here. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to need your help today because, let me tell you, I'm struggling a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I started my diet this morning (laughs) and I'm already having a a heck of a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. You know, Woden uh, or, uh, or uh, Odin, the, the Norse God, Uh uh, his diet consisted of wine. That's a, that's a fun fact. (laughs) Odin, the, the, uh, the God of uh, the Vikings. He must've been a happy guy. Yeah, wine was, uh, for, for Odin, wine was food and drink. <laughs> and, um, and some people say, uh, blasphemers <laughs> say that, uh, that that's where the Christian, uh, the Christian church, mm-hmm. that's why they made wine such a big part of the, of the Catholic uh, ritual, the Christ- uh, ritual mm-hmm. because they wanted to get those Vikings on board. Mm. You know? That's not a and, bad strategy. Yeah, it's not a bad strategy at all. No. Which is why we're going to have the biggest radio promotion in the history of Chicago radio. We call it uh, Ragnarok on the rocks <laughs> brought to you by absolute vodka. Uh, it's uh, going to be the, the party of the summer on the, the uh, rooftop DJs dancing. And of course we're going to invite God back to Chicago. So that's the, that's the hook. You yeah, see what I'm saying? I, I get it. So I yeah. It. So God's yeah. been kicked out of Chicago for too long. We're going to invite him back Yeah. and we're going to save Chicago. Yeah, with a little wine. I mean? With a little with wine. A, yeah, with uh, with a lot of wine yeah. and uh, and vodka. Okay, uh, because for Citizen Kelly, vodka is both food and drink, or it was till this morning. Uh, so anyway, mm. so we have a lot to talk about. Yes. Uh, headlines. We, this tonight's going to be an historic show, but it, th- but they all are. Right. You know, even when we do a bad show, it's still better than anything else on Chicago radio. That's for damn sure. True. 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 Uh, so. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a lot of things. We're going to talk about our great events. We're going to talk about the Citizen Kelly Community Clubs. Mm. We're bringing back community. Right. There was a time where you could, uh, every every night, you would go to, to the Irish Heritage Center or the Swedish Heritage Center and sing all your favorite songs with all your friends and neighbors. Guess what? We're bringing it back. Okay? Monday through Friday, we will have a Citizen Kelly community event, Mind, Body, and Spirit. We're going to be talking to uh, 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 Ryan from Cult of Athena about the Citizen Kelly Fencing Club. Mm-hmm. We're going to be talking to uh, Steve from ShoreGalleries.com about the Citizen Kelly Gun Club. All the information is right there at CitizenKelly.com, right? It is. But uh, we're going to talk uh, for a second about, um, about the Citizen Kelly campaign for governor. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> WilliamJKelly.org. William J. Kelly, the ballot name. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I I've decided that I've just had enough of this uh, uh, backstab and bruise runner. Okay. When I ran for mayor of the city of Chicago, I announced that I was running for mayor. Right. Mm-hmm. I donated one hundred thousand dollars of my own money to the campaign. And what did the Republican governor of Illinois do? He endorsed Rahm Emanuel. Okay. First of all, who does that? Even de- national Democrats don't want to be seen in uh, uh, with Rahm Emanuel. Right. Okay. Right. He Rahm Emanuel is universally understood. Well, not universally understood, but uh, wherever uh, you know good people are. Okay. Uh, they, he's understood to be corrupt. He's understood to be uh, uh, someone who does not uh, work in the interest of my fellow citizens. That's for sure. Right. So what does backstab and Bruce Rauner do? He endorses Rahm Emanuel for mayor. So I, uh, I, I, I realized that it was already kind of a pretty uphill battle for, for a citizen Kelly to run for mayor of Chicago as a Republican, a lifelong Republican. So I, uh, I decided not to file. Uh, and I decided to, to save that $100,000 to run against Bruce Rauner in the Republican primary. And that's exactly what I'm doing, right? Yes. And I was very, very happy to have... Uh, to be a guest on uh, Chicago Tonight with Phil Ponce. That's right. Uh, and uh, by the way, where can people see the full interview, the epic, uh, 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 epic Rauner smackdown on Chicago Tonight? 
They can go to WilliamJKelly.org, and they can also see it at CitizenKelly.com. So they can see it uh, on either website. Exactly. Okay, terrific. I'm very happy to hear that. I, uh, I, I, I believe that we really said what had to be said. Yes. We say the things that have to be said. We say the things that nobody else will say. True. And not to mention the fact that I, uh, during the course of that, uh, that interview, uh, although once I brought this up, I was cut off. Yes, you were. They cut me off. Uh, see it for yourself. Go to citizenkelly.com and click on this, the uh, uh, Citizen Kelly epic Ronner Smackdown video, whatever you want to call it. Right. Uh, I brought up the, the, fa- the one topic that apparently you're not allowed to talk about. Yes, it's the taboo topic. The, the, a sanctuary state bill uh, has passed uh, called the Trust Act. Okay, you see how deceptive these people are? It's Senate Bill 31. Nobody talks about it. I tried to talk to our governor. I was out at a Republican, I was out at a campaign event. Let's put it that way, right? Mm-hmm. And I, again, on camera, and people can see this with their own eyes if they want to at citizenkelly.com, right? Mm-hmm. Or williamjkelly.com. I asked our governor, Bruce Rahner, where he stood on the sanctuary state bill, Senate Bill 31, otherwise known as the Trust Act. Wink, right? Mm hmm. He wouldn't answer the question. He wouldn't look me in the eye. What does that tell you? It doesn't seem, doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. No. So anyway, uh, I brought this up to Phil Ponce. Phil Ponce said, well, uh, you know, ha, ha, ha. What if, uh, for example, the bill passes the House and the Senate? Well, guess what? The bill has passed the Senate and the House. In fact, it passed the House on Memorial Day, the day that we remember soldiers that gave their lives for our national freedom and sovereignty. Okay. Apparently the members of the house and Senate, the elected officials down there in Springfield, Illinois. Okay. Which I hope to call home in November of 2018. Apparently don't know the meaning of Memorial day. Okay. Because on that day, of all days, they voted to give up the sovereignty of the state of Illinois. To give it up to people who, are, who have already proven that they can't obey the laws of the United States of America. Do you understand? Yes. Bruce Rauner says, he, he likes to talk about Chicago when, he, when he's campaigning around the state. He says that Chicago is crime, 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 right? And I think that what the voters who hear him say this, what they're hoping is that he's going to somehow figure out a way to do something to alleviate the crime in Chicago. But what Bruce Renner is doing by allowing Illinois to become a sanctuary state is taking the problems, the, the circumstances that have created the problems in Chicago, the gangs, the drugs, the, the shootings, the murders, the stabbings, the rape, the robbery, and he's allowing that to now go statewide. Lock your doors. That's all I can say until you have a Governor Kelly. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, you're, you're Citizen Kelly. Oh, you're, oh, shame on you. Shame on you. You're, you are so overreacting. Really? Tell that to Tiffany Thrasher. Do you know who Tiffany Thrasher is? Tiffany Thrasher was, was <laughs> past tense, okay, Spoiler alert, foreshadowing, she was a girl living in Schaumburg, Illinois. She was raped and murdered on Easter. Easter. Do you understand? By someone who should not have been in this country. Okay? He, had already, he was not a citizen. He had already committed a violent offense. He should have been deported. Okay? Raped, murdered. Tiffany Thrasher on Easter Sunday for her body to be found by her family on Easter Sunday. I'm sorry, I oppose making Illinois a sanctuary state. There are financial reasons, very legitimate financial reasons. We're broke. We can't spend billions and billions of dollars uh, uh, on illegal aliens anymore. We just can't do it. But there are, there's a human cost. There's a human cost. You know what the cost is? We don't have Tiffany Thrasher to, here today as a citizen of our country, somebody that was important and valuable to our country. Bruce Rauner hasn't said a word about Tiffany Thrasher, hasn't said a word 
about sanctuary states. And uh, personally, I find fault with that. Thankfully, we have a president, though, who is talking about sanctuary states. Okay? Mr. President, I'm asking you again, help me. (laughs) Help Citizen Kelly. I'm running for governor of Illinois against a never-Trumper. The Republican governor of Illinois, Bruce Rauner, will not say your name. He hates you, Mr. President. I believe he's going to challenge you in a Republican primary in 2020. I believe that. Okay? Gila, is there, is there a clip? Is there something that you want me to, uh, to add to this? Oh, well, he, uh, President Trump actually made some statements. I would love weekend. to hear it, Mr. President. All right, President Trump vowing to crack down on sanctuary cities across America. That includes cracking down on sanctuary cities that defy federal law. They're releasing them. So many deaths where they release somebody back into the community. And they know it's going to end that way. And we know he's on to something. Those comments come as we learn that an, another illegal immigrant, this one, uh, who's deported 20 times, 20 times, now accused of breaking into a woman's home and sexually assaulting her at knife point. He had been sent free last year in Portland, Oregon. Why? Well, because of its sanctuary city status. Here- Thank you, Mr. President. I appreciate your words. We need you now. We need you now in the city of Chicago, in the state of Illinois. Illinois is on the fast track to becoming a sanctuary state. I'm asking for your help. William J. Kelly dot org. I'm running for governor against Bruce Rauner, who hates you. OK, who will ch- if he is reelected? Mark my words. Mark the tape. OK, if I'm wrong, it'll be the first time. The first time. OK, I, you know, I'm like Socrates. I don't know anything, but yet I've never been wrong. Explain that. OK. If Bruce Rauner is reelected governor of Illinois in 2018, He's going to come against you, Mr. President, in 2020. Help me help you. Take out Bruce Rauner now in the Republican primary, March 20th. Okay? Um, The caps have already been blown in the race, by the way, G-Law. Did you know that? I did know that. Because of these greedy, greedy uh, politicians, okay, and their haste to spend money. Okay? Bruce Rauner, multimillionaire, uh, spending money, right? He's done something very foolish. When he uh, be away, when you have an opponent, a primary opponent who has unlimited time and energy to go all over the state of Illinois, reminding Republican primary voters that you, Governor Rauner, do not even know what's in the Republican primary platform. Otherwise, you wouldn't be giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to Planned Parenthood, would you? You wouldn't be. Uh, Uh, You would have perhaps figured out a way to submit a balanced budget at least once in your time as governor. And but yet you haven't done that. Right. And I'm pretty sure you would be vetoing the the sanctuary state bill that's on your desk. Governor, it's on your desk. Veto it today or else we will. I'm telling you right now, defeat you. Well, we're. It's already you've already you've all with your endorsement of Rahm Emanuel for mayor of the city of Chicago uh, in the last election cycle. You've already sealed your fate, sealed Sealed your fate, cast your fate. Okay, We will defeat Bruce Rauner in the Republican primary. We will. um, I will do everything in my power to go around the state of Illinois and run a positive campaign on the issues. Okay. Social conservative, fiscal conservative, cultural conservative, William J. Kelly.org. I hope to be your governor. And let me tell you, when I'm sitting behind the governor's desk in Springfield, Illinois, I will make sure that Illinois is not a sanctuary state and that Chicago is not a sanctuary city. Mr. President, I'm looking forward to working with you. Please don't leave me hanging here. <laughs> CitizenKelly.com, William J. Kelly.org. And we'll be back with more of The Citizen Kelly Show after this.